Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to answer some questions about my, my new ring. I got some questions from people about my Morganite. So it came up to my 20th anniversary and my husband asked what I would like and my last ring, which is beautiful. It's a white gold Simon G, loved it. It was stunning. Problem was, I'm sure there's others of you out there who go through this, but I have a new allergy to gold. So the nickel, and there might even be other things in there, but I am allergic. So what was happening is my finger was swelling and I couldn't wear my ring. So fast forward, my sweet husband asked what I would like for our 20th, which blows my mind. Um, and I said, I've done a lot of research and I would really like a Morganite. So what's a Morganite? A Morganite is part of the Beryl family. So think emeralds, think aquamarines, and they're all beautiful. Well, I was watching some channels over the past year about these Morganites, which have a peachy pink look to them. I'm going to show you mine. I will post down below a link so you can see a picture of it outside. But I'm going to show you here what the Morganite looks like. So... I, I hope it's coming in clear. So this is a Morganite. It is peachy pink and I had it designed in platinum. So it was either palladium or platinum or sterling silver. And if you look on Etsy, you can find any of those. I actually am lucky because one of my dear friends who owns her own design, jewelry design, Rachel Brooks, I will also post the link down below. She designed it for me. So she was able to take a look at what I wanted and make a creation that's all mine. So it just made it that much special. So my Morganite. And so it's different than a diamond. So when you get a diamond, you're going to have a carrot, half a carrot, carrot, all the way up. When you come to gemstones, they measure more by millimeters. So for example, my Morganite is a 10 by 10. So if you were to weigh it, because they have to weigh it to figure it out, if you were to weigh it, it's about a four and a half carat. So you can pick the size you want. What I also like about the Morganite is it's not ridiculously expensive. You know, your setting can be anything, but the Morganite itself is not. So then the other question is, are they harder to take care of? They definitely are, are less hard on the scale than a diamond. That being said, they're about a seven and a half, almost eight. So realistically, they are pretty hard. I will not take showers with it. I will not do my super deep cleaning with it on. Um, I will not swim in a pool with chlorine just because I want it to stay really nice. So then following up with that is how do I clean my Morganite? And I have to tell you, it's seriously the easiest thing. You take your Morganite, you take a glass of warm, soapy water, put a little bit of Dawn in it. it because, you know, if you think about it, Dawn is used for all those injured animals. It's used for all around the world. It's a very safe, mild wash. So you're just gonna place gently your Morganite inside for about two to five minutes. Then you take it out, you use a child's toothbrush and you scrub it lightly inside and all around. And I'll try to also insert a video to show you, very easy. You can either pat it dry or I use my blow dryer on a cool setting and it looks brand new every time. It's just completely sparkly because otherwise if you let it just go, it will get a kind of a fuzzy look to the top, which you don't want. So that's a Morganite. Um, again, I'm going to drop below Rachel's information. She is amazing. She's based out of Washington, but I'm sure she can work with any of you. She is talented. She's featured in magazines. And if you want to hear more about what's going on with rings or my um, children's book series or my ideal protein, go ahead and click down below, subscribe, and hit the bell so that you'll be let, be in the know. Okay, happy Saturday. If you have any questions about Morganites or Emeralds or any of the barrels, just let me know. Okay, have a great day.